since I opened the uh, bottom part, we might as well as uh, open the uh, top cover and check what's in store for us. So the same thing uh, what we did for the solar mate, we're going also to check its constructions inside because uh, it intrigues me why this one has two AC output. Uh, it's a bit unique, you know, the type of uh, hybrid that is unique because in most cases you can see that it's only uh, one uh, AC out. So the constructions on its LCD, as you can see, is similar also, you know, the simplicity. So you have the bypass. So I think this is the inverter is running. And if you have the solar and if you have an error and the bottoms up and down, return and enter. Simple. Okay. So let's open this baby up and let's see what, we, what, will, what will this thing reveal us. Uh, very nice when it comes to design. So the TVB team really put, I think, a lot of work into this based on its construction. Uh, very solid. And also its design. Uh, as you can see, it's simplistic and yet very functional. So let's check what's inside of this hybrid in store for us. So no heat sink outside. Uh, we will see what's inside. If there's a heat sink involved or it's mounted like the solar charge controller that they have, uh, it's back is pure aluminum you know and this one is pure steel so a different approach when it comes to construction and the same uh, grill pattern on the sides pretty neat uh, air is suck going up and there's a vent on top of it like their solar charge controller so we, we shall see whether this one also presents the same design constructions as their solar mate solar charge controller last screws out so there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten screws all in all and we're going to reveal oh aha uh -huh. look it's the same uh, connection that they have on their LCD very easy and just flip it out and look what we have okay let's do the let's try to check its constructions and as you can see we have a very huge big what i would say massive as you can see it's a massive toroid i think this is more uh, if I to guess it right, its diameter uh, is 8 inches, but we're going to check that. Two toroid cores and okay, you have four on all in all. Very nice. The construction is really, really good. See, you have the... Holder here. Uh, 
ang inside so the holder of the oh, is, I cannot see because it's it's being blocked by this huge toroid so it's really bolted so what we saw earlier on the back so this one is the uh, uh, the, uh, the nuts that we saw it's huge you know uh, the, the toroid and what else can we see so here it's hard to check since this one is a bit uh, very compact on the lower side so here the air will blow on its heat sink so i think this is where the power transistor is located very neat and the construction is very very nice solid it's solid solidly built in that sense as you can see you can even see the design that they have they cut in a se semi-circle it's pcb that's how uh, the design was really good what else can we see in here so i won't touch anything so this one is chipped really nice so huge drill on top now uh, i think the only drawback in here is uh lizards so basically lizards can get in but you can prevent that it's easy to prevent uh i'm going to uh prior to mounting i'm going to show you what i'll use so that it will prevent uh any uh i would say insects uh, crawling insects except for ants i think uh but uh mosquitoes and other stuff you can prevent getting in when i mount it i'm going to show it to you how because this grill you also have to cover this thing you cover with filter you know but not an ordinary filter that you're going to use because if uh if it's uh, too thick your fan will suffer okay i think that's it for now and let's power this up after the next video bye for now and thumbs up Subscribe if you like the video.